Thank you for joining us for a virtual Here Now artwork discussion with the Fry Art Museum. My name is Caroline and I am the education coordinator here at the Fry. I will be facilitating today's digital discussion. While we cannot be together in the galleries, we hope you will still enjoy the opportunity to slow down, look closely, and spend some time with a work from the Fry Collection. It's always fun to look at art by yourself, or invite a friend or family member to join you in this discussion. You might also choose to write down your observations, or make a drawing in response. If this is the case, please gather your materials now. We will begin each artwork discussion by taking a quiet moment to simply look at the work of art and observe. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. It's about what you notice or experience when looking. After you have taken a moment to observe on your own, I will ask some questions to guide your looking and provide information about the artwork before we end. You can expand or minimize this video on your screen for the discussion. You can also access closed captioning through the settings tool. Please take a moment to see what works best for your viewing. Today's theme is exploration, paintings that transport you. As we continue to stay home and remain safe, we may find ourselves seeking adventure through a good book or a daydream. I encourage you to let your mind roam as we explore a painting from the Fry Collection. I am particularly excited that this format allows us to share works from the Fry's Collection that we have not previously featured in a Here Now discussion. This is the artwork we will be looking at today. We will take pauses in between each set of questions to give you time to look closely at the artwork and think about your responses. Remember, you may pause this video at any time to spend more time on one of the slides. To start our discussion, please take 30 seconds to quietly look at this piece. You might start at the top corner of the canvas, moving across and down. You may move close to the screen to see details or step back for a new perspective. Your cursor is a great tool to trace and track details within this artwork. Thank you for your quiet observation. We will now move into our guided questions. If you're looking with a friend or family member, we hope you will share your observations or consider writing down or sketching your answers. For our first guided question, where does your eye go first when looking at this landscape? What about next and then last? For our next question, what time of the year might it be in this scene? And what do you see that makes you say that?
Moving on to our third question. Do you think this is a real landscape? Is it familiar in any way to you? For our final question, I'd like you to look at the small figure in the center of the canvas. We cannot see this person's face, but in your opinion, how might this figure be feeling? And what do you see that makes you say that? Thank you for taking the time to share and reflect on your observations. I would now like to share some information on this piece. This is an oil on canvas painting. The title is Denali, Mount McKinley, from the Susitna Valley and was made in 1940. The artist is Theodore Roosevelt Lambert, also known as Ted Lambert. He was an American painter who lived from 1905 to 1960. Born in the early 1900s to a religious family in Zion, Illinois, Ted Lambert showed an early interest in art, winning a national drawing contest at the age of 15. Lambert left home at the age of 17, working as a laborer across the western United States, Alaska, in Canada, until he saved enough money to attend the American Academy of Art in Chicago. Following his studies, Lambert worked as a mentee to famed painter Eustace Ziegler in Seattle. The two became close friends and colleagues, even traveling across Alaska together in a homemade boat. Lambert spent the later years of his life living in a small cabin in western Alaska. He became reclusive and mysteriously disappeared in 1960. Lambert was declared legally dead in 1965. Lambert left behind an impressive body of artworks chronicling his life in Alaska, an at times primitive existence amid some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. Denali Mount McKinley captures both the paradise of the Alaskan landscape and Lambert's realistic detail and impressionist style. Grassy olive green hills, moss-covered rocks, and alpine trees provide a dramatic backdrop for a lone hiker as he looks out on the majestic snow-capped mountain range. Steeped in shades of lavender and midnight blue, the painting demonstrates Lambert's skill at depicting nature in blocks of varied color. His signature short, aggressive brushstrokes are said to mirror the tense and restless nature that shaped the artist's personal life. Today, Lambert remains one of the 20th century's most influential painters of Alaska. I would like to leave you today with a conversation topic. During this time at home, where have you been spending time to relax or take a quiet moment of peace? Please share with the person you're with, sketch it out, or write it down.
Thank you for joining us for a Here Now artwork discussion. We can't wait to welcome you back to the Fry again soon.